this closet right here. It's not really a closet. And I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna wait. All right, guys, I have something super cool. Uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. If you like storage, you're gonna love this double wide that I'm about to show you. I've only shown one other home uh, by this manufacturer and that's Eagle River Homes. And what I'm about to show you right here is the Hudson. So let's go ahead and hop into it. And I, oh my gosh, just wait for this. If, if you need that storage, you need that space, this is it. This is the Hudson by Eagle River. This is a three bedroom, two bath with one extra feature that you can kind of already see it up in the window right there, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna let you figure it out or see it, you know, once we get to that point. Um, so it's pretty neat. I think this one is 1800 square foot. So just a monster of a manufactured home. Almost rivaling some of the triple wides that I've toured so far. And the kind of rustic Western feel that they have inside of it is just pretty cool. So we're out here at Black's Home Sales in Duncanville, Pennsylvania. So if you're up in Pennsylvania, let me know. Anyway, that is the outside of this wonderful home and we're gonna go ahead and hop on the inside. <laughs> Just kidding. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, while pregnant Jen is over there sipping on some fake brandy, I'm going to show you the home. All right, so this one, when you first walk in, it does have a nice little foyer area. And you have the wonderful coat closet. Now, this one, this home is... A little bit of drywall, a little bit of paneling throughout. Uh, that's just because it's a show home. So they just have several different features going on throughout the home. But what I will do for you is at the end of this video, I will tell you exactly what the base price is and how much what you are seeing right now, how the home setup is with the upgrades that it has. So you got this nice little archway that I'm walking under right now. You just kind of seen and the home kind of follows that pattern throughout. Great big windows. The dark wood crown molding. Right back up here. And so as you can see, the archway is going into both the hallway and your entrance. Very warm feeling home. Huge kitchen and dining room space. And probably one of the nicest decorated homes uh, we've seen so far today. We have been checking out some modular homes and some manufactured homes. I think mostly all they have up here are the modulars and a couple double wides. And then I think there's one or two single wides, which I really haven't shown too much on the channel, but hopefully we can get some uh, here pretty soon. We have a dishwasher in this one. I think this is the first manufactured home we've seen a dishwasher in. And then again, very nice cabinets. that got your tile backsplash that goes really high up and then you have your built-in microwave and stove come back around the island really nice island very thick table look to it And then again, it has a lot of storage underneath. And then this one. Can I vandalize the pantry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Another one of those great big Narnia pantries. Kind of goes forever. It's really nice. Again, Jen's with me today. We <laughs> did, drove up. Show off the bump a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so right there's. I don't know what I want to hide first. Alright. Let's do the master first on this one. Yeah, let's. The other way is more. Yeah, yeah. The other way is cooler. Alright, so we're going to start off with the master bedroom. Again, really big. Definitely get a king in here. Have enough room for your. Uh, nightstands on either side. Maybe get you, a, you got your TV hookup over here. So kind of have an idea of where you might have a dresser and a TV. And then coming over to your closet, very deep closet. It has a light inside of it. That's nice. master bathroom. Let's see if we can find a light in here. There it is. Oop, oop. So you have your double vanity in this one. And you also have some storage space for your linens. And again, the crown molding has been traveling throughout this home as well. And then your shower, no tub, unfortunately. Man, this would have been a, I think this one might have taken the cake if they could have incorporated, incorporated a tub in here. But still, very big bathroom, I think. Kind of like a, a galley setup, if I can call it that. All right, the back side of this house is cool. I'm gonna show it to you, because that's where we're heading right now. Try and get some lights on as we go. We didn't come in here and flip on any lights, but little desk area. Put your computer there. Your guest bathroom or second bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Some more storage for your linen closet. Or linen? Linens? Linens. <laughs> Towels. Towels. Things. I like the bathrooms with the extra storage in there because, you know, traipsing across the hallway trying to grab a towel. Ours is in the middle of the hallway. Uh, in our house. It's kind of odd, awkward, especially when you got guests over. You gotta scurry across like a little mouse so they don't see you in a towel or without a towel for that matter. I'm just kidding, I would never do that. All right, this is the second bedroom. Decent size. Fun little kids room, I think. The closet, nice deep closet. Again, with a light, that's what I'm talking about. I like that the closets have lights in them. Again, don't get too caught up on the paneling if you're not into the paneling. If you don't mind the paneling, then, you know, you can put paneling in here. It's a very nice bedroom. This closet right here. It's not really a closet. And I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait into the next bedroom. This one's about the same size and the sizes of the bedrooms are gonna be at the end when I put up the floor plan. So if you're interested in the size of each of these bedrooms, uh, definitely wait till the end. I always put up floor plans, uh, so check those out. Closet. This one's not as deep 
and it also does not have the light. Then you have your utility room, great big sink. your furnace, you got your washer dryer hookups, some more storage space. And then your electric panel and a back door. Now, the coolest part of this entire home. Are you ready? Ta -da. It has an upstairs. Can we call this a two story manufactured home? I don't know. But wait, up here just goes the whole length of the house. How cool is that? Put all the games up here. Shoot, you could probably put a whole nother bedroom up here. Shoot. Come over here, put your little bathroom, little hallway, another kid's bedroom down on the other end. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this attic space up here. And uh, we will go downstairs and talk some numbers. All right, so again, this is the Hudson by Eagle River, which Eagle River has some really nice homes, probably a smaller known, lesser known manufacturer. Um, I've, this is only the second one I've been in. So the base price without any upgrades on this home is $97,000. As you've seen it for this tour with these upgrades, it's $125,000. So let me know what you think about those prices right there. And if you like this video, if you like that attic, uh, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. And as always guys, my name is Timothy. And I'll see you in the next one.